Hey guys, my name is Dominic Flex. I'm a custom jewelry designer. Today we are going to do a jeweler's reacts to Drake's new necklace. Uh, because if you don't know it, the drama around the piece is actually because he said that every single diamond on the necklace was to represent a proposal that he was thinking of doing. So basically, there's 42 engagements that never happen, which is a lot. So we're going to do a full breakdown of how I feel about this necklace and let me tell you, this is a very boring piece. So right off the bat, the necklace has over 350 carats. It's estimated to be over 4 million. I'm not a fan of this necklace. The reason why is because there's 350 carats of diamonds. Like, this was not something he was doing on a budget. So why does the design look so absolutely terrible? Every stone is relatively large, which means that the gallery, you have the opportunity to make something very ornate and to make something really nice, you know? The whole side of the stones, they could have added something really cool, and yet they chose to do the most boring gallery setting I have ever seen. Not only that, but every single diamond is like incredibly spaced out, which makes it look like it's just kind of like hanging on a bar of metal. <laughs> like. This is the kind of thing that I literally see at like those tacky like market fairs of like those really terribly designed like fake CZ necklaces. This is what it looks like. The necklace features a range of different cuts. So there's round, there's oval, um, some emerald cuts in there and they all kind of come together. They tie into one knot and they string down. The original concept behind the design was of course each diamond was re to represent an engagement. So I'm assuming that maybe each diamond shape represented a certain girl who wanted a certain shape of diamond, you know, that could be the theory behind it. For me, between this one and his other necklace, which was um, a strand of heart-shaped diamonds, I definitely prefer the heart-shaped diamonds. I feel like even though that one was simple, it came together a lot nicer than this one is. One person that you can kind of compare it to is like Pharrell. He had a necklace of like all different like rubies, emeralds, of different shapes, different cuts. And for me, that necklace has kind of always been like a really cool go-to. He wears it so well. And lastly, like if you look at the videos of the, the actual jeweler who's talking about the piece, they kind of tried to add some like wow factor at the fact that they use like eagle claws. Bordering the impossible, each stone meticulously set, utilizing the eagle claw technique. I'm sorry, but that's not going to save the design because an eagle prong is not necessarily something that's like, wow, you know, it's like a very kind of like standard prong that we see in a lot of jewelry. Of course, the diamonds do look like they're really high quality, but for me, that really doesn't save the piece in and of itself. Finding a high quality diamond, anybody can do it as long as you have the budget for it. Another thing that's really funny is that Drake is also only 36, you guys, which means that he would probably only have been thinking about engagements as of like what the age of 18 which gives 18 years for him to give proposals and if you're thinking about 42 times that's almost like 2.5 times a year that he was thinking about getting engaged that is like a lot if there are any drake fans in here i'd love to know who you guys think the 42 engagements were for obviously we know the classic rihanna when he proposed to her at like i think it was the grammys that was definitely an iconic moment we got some very good memes out of that all in all i find that this piece is a flop i'd love to know what you guys think if you like the necklace my name is dominic flex thanks for watching and i'll see you next time